So in this video, I just want to go over a quick derivation for the continuity equation. You may or may not know or have heard of it before. You should have heard of it, at least, uh, in field theory. Um, but this, der this, this equation should have been derived sometime earlier on. And uh, essentially, it, re it relates the current density to the charge. So we're going to start off with Maxwell's equations, as we always do. In particular, we're going to start off with Ampere's law, which states that the curl of H is equal to J plus the partial derivative of d with respect to t. And we're going to start with Gauss's law, um, which essentially states the divergence of d is equal to rho v. OK, now what are we going to do? We're going to uh, take the divergence of both sides of Ampere's law. Okay, so we're not using Gauss's law quite yet, but what we're going to do is we're going to take the divergence of both sides. So I take divergence of this curl of H is going to be the divergence of J plus partial D over partial T. Now notice here we're working in time domain. <clears throat> we could very well be working in frequency, but all that would change is you would have your subscripts, your S's, and you would have this partial uh, over partial t would actually be replaced by j omega, which is, you know, I mean, it's standard. We've seen it now quite a number of times. Uh, I should note here that there is a vector identity, uh, which pretty much states that if I take the divergence of the curl of any vector field c, it equals 0, which is convenient. So we can set this left side equal to 0, and I get this is divergence, so I can expand the divergence into the brackets, and so I get the divergence of this uh, partial derivative of d with respect to t, and so now I can take this, uh, let's take this divergence of j onto the left side, and let's have, well this becomes negative now, and let's have this divergence on, the, on this uh, derivative term, let's take that inside the derivative and pull the derivative out. So now if I put this inside the derivative, uh, now I realize that I can substitute using Gauss's law here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, at the same time, I'm going to divide out this negative, so I want the negative to be on the uh, right side, not on the left side. So I'm going to have negative uh, partial with respect to t of rho v. Now I can get rid of these brackets just to make it look a little nicer. Let's do that. Uh, and that is what we call the current continuity equation. Now essentially what this does is it relates the current density uh, of, of, you know, uh, let's say the current density traveling through a certain, let's say, surface with respect to the amount of charge that's going through that surface as well. So the divergence we know is usually the point from which a field or some vector is, you know, coming out of or going into. And so pretty much it relates this thing in space uh, with time. So I hope you found this tutorial or this sort of video kind of uh, derivation helpful. Uh, I will keep posting things as I see fit and uh, hope to see you in the next one.